Today we're gonna to be looking at this add-on which can actually help you create stop motion style animations with just one click. It's called Stopmo and it's a free add-on from me. So let's dive in and look at how it works. Of course, you'll be able to download this in the description below. And there's also a coupon code for my other products if you'd like to check those out while they're on sale. So as an example, we're going to be looking at this scene here and you can see the final effect in this shot here. So let's look at how I use this add-on to do this. Now the add-on is super simple to install. Just like any other add-on, you can come up here to your edit preferences, go to add-ons, click install and install that zip file. And you'll see that it'll show up as stop mode. Now, once you do that, it is going to appear over here on the right panel here under stop mode, and you will see this little panel here. So we're just gonna go ahead and walk through the effects. So first, let me show you what this animation looks like without the stop mode effect here. You can see I have my little character here pulling their hair and it kind of yanks out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to solid view so that we can get a bit smoother of a playback. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead, click the character rig here, and then we're going to take a look at the controls. Now apply steps will apply the effect to your character rig and all the bones that have animation. It does work on some other objects, but not always. So it's really only meant for character animations, but it does sometimes work on other things. Remove steps will remove those steps that you added to this character. Select objects will select everything in the scene that has it. And you can see there I got an error because nothing has it. And if I go ahead down here, you can see I have the controls for step amount, determining how many frames I want the animation to step, the start frame and the end frame. So this is useful if you're trying to animate from like ones to twos, for example. And that can be a common effect that you see in movies like Spider-Verse. Now, right now it's limited to kind of doing one range set. So for example, you couldn't do 20 to 60 and then 90 to 120, for example. It kind of lets you just determine one range within the timeline. And then lastly here, we have an animate texture. First of all, let's go ahead and look at how it applies to this here. Now, I wanted to animate my entire stop motion short film on twos because it would give it more of a proper stop motion look. The problem is that you can't just export on twos because then your camera will look super jittery. And sometimes you may want to go to ones where you animate every single frame. Ones means you're animating keyframes every frame. Twos means you're animating every two frames. So if you do your camera on twos, it can end up with a very jittery look. So I wanted to kind of find a simple solution to get a twos animation style on my character. Now traditionally in stop motion, what you do is you move forward two frames, adjust your character, move forward two frames, adjust your character, and then you could set it to a constant interpolation. And what that'll all do is give you kind of this very authentic stop motion effect. The problem being that's extraordinarily time consuming to do in 3D and I was looking for something a bit simpler. Not because I don't have the work ethic to necessarily put all of that time into it, but because as an individual animator, I don't have time to kind of do that on top of producing the entire short film myself, hence why I created Stopmo. Now it's worth noting that the reason I'm giving away Stopmo for free is because I made it for myself and this simple kind of animation process in this stop motion film I'm working on. So I'm not really planning on offering direct support or maybe long time support. That being said, it uses some really simple operators that I expect to work in Blender for quite some time and on most machines. So I doubt anybody will have an issue. And lastly, of course, the code is actually just open. So you are welcome to open it and adjust the code as you see fit. If you do, I'd love for you to let me know what you create with it. But that being said, let's dive into actually how to use all of these effects in the panel here. So first it's as simple as just setting your step amount and clicking the character. So I'll go ahead, hit apply steps here. And you can see that now we're getting a kind of stop motion look. Let's go ahead and do something a bit more extreme. You can see that you can actually adjust it here. So if I go ahead and do four and hit apply, you can see I'm getting an even more kind of extreme effect. It's very rare to animate on force, but it does happen. So let's go ahead switch this back to two, hit apply, and look at exactly how this is working. If I go ahead and grab one of the bones here, for example, the hip, you can see that the frames are going on every twos. So what happens is that if you insert a keyframe on three, for example, you can see here that it is being skipped over. So you'll still kind of get that motion, but it might end up being a bit more jittery. So I highly recommend that when you're using this animation, whenever you place a keyframe, you try and place it 
on an even number. And that'll help you get a more realistic effect, assuming that you're using the twos amount. Now the what this is doing is it's taking everything in the object and quick applying this stepped modifier to all of your F curves. So the step modifier is in there by default. This isn't anything I've created. Essentially what I've created is a panel to just speed up the process. So the main notice that there's also this animate texture option. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. So let's take a look at the animate texture option. I've just gone ahead and just dragged one of the textures from my asset pack over here, the clay one, onto this plane as an example. So when you're trying to get a stop motion look, oftentimes fingerprints, paper, cardboard, things like that, they kind of get moved around when the animators are adjusting the model. So by kind of animating the textures a little bit, you can almost get a more just kind of authentic feeling. So let's look at how we can do that with this add-on a bit simpler. So what you can do is you can select your object and you'll need to make sure you have the shader window open and whatever texture you are trying to animate, you're going to need a mapping node. Now, this is kind of dependent on you having good UVs or a properly generated map. But what this will do is you grab the mapping node, have that selected, click Add Animation, and you'll see that it adds keyframes here to the Z. And right now you can see that it is just rotating that around. So what you can do is you can go ahead and select these keyframes. And this button here will work on any keyframes you have selected. So it could be useful in other situations, but it was kind of intended for this. You go ahead and you click step loop. And then now when we go ahead and hit play, you'll see that the texture is animating. Now let's take a look at what this did. If we come over here to our graph editor with this selected, you can see that it is interpreted as a constant interpolation. So there's no animation in between the frames and it has also looped it so that we can just then run this through our entire animation. So that's how you go about using the stop mo add-on. I hope you find this add-on useful. It has saved me tons of time with my short film, though that short film is specifically in a stop motion style, but I'm really hoping that other people find it useful and think it's fun to use. Let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching.